I am really excited about today's class because we're gonna mix it up. Today we're doing a postnatal wall Pilates class and just adding the wall as extra equipment makes the workout really efficient. We're gonna to tone and strengthen the whole body and of course work on healing and strengthening your core. As always, I will provide safe modifications for diastasis recti or if you're recovering after a C-section. To really accelerate your core healing, you can think of every exercise as a core exercise using your 360 breath. We're gonna breathe into our ribs 360 degrees around, keeping your shoulders relaxed, and then exhale, tighten everything up as if a corset is wrapping around you. Let's start sitting in a comfortable position. We'll take some gentle side stretches, reaching up and over. Exhale, engage your obliques. Coming up, other side. Exhale, coming up. Let's move to all fours. We'll mobilize our spine with cat and cow. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, tip your tailbone and look up. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, look up. Good. Coming to a neutral spine. Let's get down onto our side. So you want to, we're gonna be at a 90 degree angle from the wall. So you can position yourself fairly close, keeping your core engaged. Go down on your side, then roll on to your back. Exhale, you can place your feet on the wall about hip width distance, palms on the ground. I'm just gonna move my hair from underneath my shoulders because I don't want to slip as I raise my hips up. Press into all four corners of your feet and use the wall as resistance. Let's exhale, engage our core, tuck your pelvis, we'll push up into a hip bridge. Inhale, lower back down. Beautiful, again, exhale, engage. Activate your glutes, your legs, your core, pressing up into the wall, releasing down. Moving with your own breath. We'll do six more of those. And on this last one, let's stay up. We can pulse here. Tiny controlled pulses. Let's stay steady. We're gonna lift our heels up, release them down. Keeping your core engaged. Last one, rolling down. We can cross one ankle over top. We're gonna lift up into a hip bridge on one leg. You might wanna center your foot on the wall slightly. Exhale. Lifting up, inhale, lower down. One more on this side. Lowering it down, we can cross the other ankle 
over top of your knee. Take a breath. Exhale, engage your core. Lift, squeezing your glute. Moving with your breath. Beautiful, let's put both feet back on to the wall. I'm gonna scoot slightly closer here. We're gonna do knee presses. So pressing one foot into the wall, we can press the other knee into our hands as we exhale. Engage, tighten your core. Inhale, switch to the other side. We can add a pelvic floor contraction in now as you press, lifting your pelvic floor in and up. Release, fully relax your pelvic floor. Exhale, lifting in and up, squeezing your core. Release, inhale. Pressing both feet against the wall now. Let's work on some fast twitch pelvic floor contractions. So you're gonna imagine a blueberry at the opening of your vagina and you're gonna lift it up and in and release it as fast as you can. This is gonna help protect from leaking a little bit when you sneeze or jump. Let's fully relax. Exhale, lift it in and let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fully release. We're gonna do a modification of the Pilates hundreds. So we can exhale, lift your shoulders off and pulse here. If you have diastasis recti and you're getting any bulging down your midline, just keep your shoulders down and pulse here while you're engaging your core. Setting up, pressing your feet into the ground, core is engaged, pulsing here. Beautiful, release down. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale, release. We can point and straighten one leg, engaging your core. We're gonna make tiny circles with that one foot. Squeezing the muscles of your legs, pressing your other foot into the wall. Go the other direction. Release that leg. Breath. Exhale. Pointing the other foot up. Tiny circles.
Switching directions. Release. We're gonna scooch in a little bit closer to the wall. It may be safer to roll on your side to scooch down. So getting your tailbone as close as you can to the wall, releasing your legs up. We're gonna move in to our Pilates stance, but just on the wall. And then we will bend, exhale, pressing up, squeezing all the muscles of your legs, Refocusing on your core. Let's do four more. Amazing. Now we are going to turn our legs out and we'll open up. You can let your heels slide down. I've got these panels in my way, so I'm gonna come off the wall a little bit, but you can just let your heels slide down and then we will close it back up again. Open, exhale, close. Last one, we're gonna hold out here. Let's pulse here. Beautiful, if you wanna take a nice stretch here, we can actually flex our feet and just relax. It shouldn't feel painful at all. You can put some pressure on the wall. Beautiful, when you're ready, exhale. We can come up, take our knees in. Let's scooch away just a little bit. We can give ourselves a little bit of a hug. You can open your knees or have them close, whichever is more comfortable. Let's roll over on our side and then we'll grab a sip of water. We can come up to a standing position now. We'll position ourselves fairly close to the wall so you can reach the wall. We'll come to our Pilates stance. Let's raise up on our toes, plie down, and then you can cross one foot behind. We're going to straighten and kick back, engaging your core. We'll do one more and hold up. Pulse your back leg. Beautiful, release down. We can do that on the other side. 
Exhale, engage, kicking back. One more and hold. Pulse it here. Release down. We can turn our feet parallel now. We're gonna do a tricep push up. Let's come up on our toes. The farther you step back, the more challenging it will be. Elbows pointing down towards the ground, pressing up. Eight of these here. Last one. Good, let's make a diamond shape with our hand and we'll push up here, eight more. Let's move back to the tricep push-up position. Let's go down, pulsing here. Coming back up, diamond position. Coming down, pulsing here. Releasing out, beautiful. Let's shake it out. We can stretch out our tricep now, taking your elbow, placing it on the wall, keeping ribs pulled down, pressing your elbow into the wall. Gently release. Let's move to the other side. Slowly releasing out. We can place one hand on the wall again, and then we're gonna walk our feet and our body around just to get a gentle stretch through your chest and your shoulder here. This should not feel too intense. Beautiful release. Other side. Slowly release out. Let's shake it out. We're gonna move into wall squats. You can bring your feet quite far ahead. Let yourself against the wall. Re-engage your core. We're gonna inhale down and then really pressing in to your feet using your legs and your glutes. Coming up, inhale down. Let's come down, re-engage your core. We're gonna hold here, practicing your 360 breath. Last one, good, let's come up, we can shake it out. We're gonna take our feet wide this time. Hands can come up to shoulders, re-engaging your core. We'll plie down here, squeezing at the top.
Last one. We'll come down. Let's pulse here. Good, lifting your heels up, down. Now we can lift our heels up, pulse here again. Amazing, come up. I definitely felt the burn, shake it out. We can stretch out our quad now. Release, other side. Releasing your foot. We're gonna come into a modified downward dog here. Walking your feet away, walking your hands down, keeping lots of length through your lower back, not rounding out at all. Pressing your hands into the wall, feeling a nice stretch here. Beautiful, let's come up. Step your feet in just a little bit here. We're gonna move into a figure four stretch supported by the wall. We can cross one ankle over, release down. Lots of length in your spine still. Knee presses down and away from you. Good. Coming up, switching to the other side. Top ankle is flexed to protect your knee. Gently releasing out. You did amazing. I hope that you're feeling energetic and strong after that wall Pilates class. I'd love to know what you thought of the wall Pilates class and if you feel like you got a good burn in. This workout is part of the April postpartum workout challenge. I'm gonna to link to that in the description box below and every month you can find the calendar with new workouts for each day in the community tab. I will also link to the whole postpartum workout playlist. You can go through it and save your favorite workouts. And I will keep making postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.